Hey guys and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to produce your own plugin for Abacus and introduce the Concrete Damaged Plasticity plugin. First let's begin with plugin production. Suppose that we want to have a plugin that writes material properties into Abacus. In this example I assume that we have elastic properties only. So I have already written my Python code for density, young moduli, and poison ratio. Now I want to turn it into an Abacus readable plugin. The first step is to turn the code into a functional format. After that, I should insert the following lines so that the Abacus can read the function. Now that I have the code, there is only one problem. If my model name is different from model 1 or the name of the material, I would definitely run into a syntax error. So I must ask the user to give me the name of the model and the material. Before going any further, I will check the code so that I would not run into a syntax error. Now I realize that I must use comma instead of dot here so that I would not have any problems. Finally, I make a, a GUI for the code using Abacus embedded tool, the dialog killer. It can be accessed from plugins, Abacus, RS3 dialog builder. First, we have the title, for example, Material Editor. Now I must give it the inputs. First one is the material, uh, for example, the model name is type of string. I increase the column so I would not have any problems in the future. Give it the model name keyword remember that it must be consistent with those keywords that i uh, written in my code the next one is the material name i increase the columns here as well it's type of string and the keyword is name next one is the density it's type of float and the keyword is density. The next one is the elastic module. Its type is float and the keyword is young module. The next one is poison ratio its type of float and the keyword is poison ratio. Now that I have written my code, I proceed to the kernel tab to give the function to Abacus. You can find the code here and uh, the function is auto detected here. Uh, next, we save the function. So Abacus standard plugin i choose this one and the directory name you can choose it as elastic uh, material editor and the menu button you can uh, write the elastic editor you can choose the location for example home directory or current directory but before saving make sure that the directory name uh, doesn't have any spaces or um, such characters uh, for example like these characters it would be uh, like this one and i choose the home directory now the abacus 
gives me the following path for plugins here and you must restart Abacus to see the plugins so if you um, look at the plugins you will not see your plugin because you have to restart the Abacus now that I have restarted the Abacus you can see your plugin here the Elastic Editor you can give it the current model name model uh, material name give it to steel density here elastic majorly and the poison ratio can go to the property and see this um, properties for your material as for the concrete damage plasticity plugin I uploaded the plugin to my github and the link is available for everyone I just run an example for this can give it the model name model 1 material name concrete density young moduli for example 25 gigapascals poison ratio 30 megapascal GFI energy for example 9 millijoules dilution angle 38 eccentric um, by axial and the viscosity parameter it will make these options for you and can have the inelastic strains it uses the sains relation you can find the uh, relation on the internet and the tensile behavior it uses the fracture energy and the yield esters also it produces the uh, compression damage damage parameter as you can see it here this concludes our video if you found this video useful please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel take care